This is a video for objective two of Power Focus Area One, um, showing you how to do a couple example problems in the diagnostic. In this problem, we're focusing on using conservation of energy to infer energy changes. And starting with my notes here, we already talked about uh, step one and step two, about evidence of height and speed for objective one questions. But in these questions, the focus is actually on step three. Conservation of energy is the idea that the total amount of energy in a system, if energy doesn't enter or leave the system, the total energy stays the same. So that's where this step three is coming from. You make adjustments until the total box number is the same at each moment. So let's use that idea to try to solve a problem. Um, we do have some evidence here, so we'll read the description anyway. At moment A, the bird is inside the slingshot, and the slingshot is stretched back. At moment B, the bird is moving quickly. We have some evidence about motion. We don't have that much evidence about height. Um, so I do know that this slingshot is relevant. There's some evidence that it's storing elastic energy because it's pulled back. But what I really want to focus on, in addition to the evidence, is this total box number idea. I can tell at moment A, this is a correct bar chart for moment A. And I can tell this slingshot is storing elastic energy and the bird is up high a little bit. This is the total of one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. Now, because I'm thinking about objective three, I'm gonna try counting boxes to see which of these answers might be invalid. I know that the answer down here can't be right if it has some number other than six boxes because if I start with six I have to end with six so let's try counting one two three four five six seven eight this answer choice one can't be correct because it ends with eight and starts with thick six one two three four five six okay answer choice two could be right but I want to look at the others in more detail one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight also can't be right because I can't start with six and end with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Answer choice four can't be right either. So it has to be answer choice two. Let's just confirm that this makes sense. As the slingshot shoots, it looks like elastic energy transfers to kinetic energy. Elastic energy goes down, kinetic energy goes up. That looks like an energy transfer that makes sense given that this thing is moving here. So I feel good about choosing answer choice number two. Let's try another one in objective two. At moment A, the ball is sitting on the ground, not moving. The person lifts the ball and holds it still at moment B. This is interesting. I have evidence about motion at moment A, at moment B, and I also know the ball had to have moved between A and B. So I actually have to ignore the fact that it moves between A and B because at A, it's still, this correct bar chart given here shows there's zero kinetic energy, and at moment B is still. So I know that the answer choice has to include zero kinetic energy. That means three can't be right, Four can't be right because they both show some kinetic energy at moment B. And then I can go to uh, evidence about height, I guess. Um, if I look, I know that the height has increased from being on the ground to being up high. Both of these blue bars increase, so that doesn't really tell me what I need to know. So I'm going to go on to step three, which I know is the most important for objective two anyway. I need to count total boxes to make sure they're the same at each moment. This looks like a total at moment A of one, two, three, four boxes of chemical energy. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems like too much. Chemical energy only went down one and gravitational energy went up three. That doesn't make any sense. But this one has one, two, three, four. That would mean chemical energy went down four gravitational went up for. So as the person lifts the ball, chemical energy transfers to gravitational energy. I know that answer choice two is correct because the total number of boxes 
is equal in both, and I used conservation of energy to infer those changes.